Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to perform a clean boot in virtually any Windows environment. We're going to be doing this demonstration in a Windows 10 computer. Windows 8 and Windows 10 are very similar when it comes to performing a clean boot. In earlier versions of Windows, you may have to open up the second application on its own, but I will go through that when the time arrives. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to our start button. We're going to type in msconfig. I'm going to left click on that. Under the services tab, you want to left click on hide all Microsoft services. And then left click on disable all then click apply and OK. You might get this notice telling you that you have to restart your computer to apply these changes. I'm going to exit without restart. I'm going to go back into MS Config here. I'm going to go underneath the startup tab. If you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7 you'll see startup items here. In Windows 8 they switched it over to being the task manager. They still kept the tab here for anybody that was still transitioning. So I'm going to open it up in Task Manager here. I see I have two startup items. I'm going to just disable both of them. I'm going to close out of this. But again, if you're using a version of Windows earlier than Windows 8, you're going to see the list here. Then you can just uncheck the items and then just click on Disable and then OK. So once you're done doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to restart our computer here. Okay, I'm going to log back into the computer here. And then once you boot back up to the desktop, you can try and figure out and troubleshoot whatever issues you may have had and then just go back through the steps we did in reverse and just enable the services and startup items one at a time or once you fix the problem and you know you've definitively solved it then you can just enable everything that you've already disabled. So I hope this tutorial helps you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.